controller here. And, uh, um, you know, or you could start with a brand new project too. Um, I just have an empty view controller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a view into the, the view controller view here. And I'll, I'll set the size to be something reasonable here. There we go. I'll place it here. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller there. And then I'm going to give it a background color. And I'll just give it the light gray color so we can see it. And what I want to do is I'm going to put three of these side by side. Oops. So I'm going to use the option key and I'll just drag this one over and I'll snap it to the center. Right. So now I have three of them. And I'm going to select them all again. And then I'm going to hold the option key and I'll drag down. And then I'll, I'll position them here until this space is about equal to what I have here. Okay, and you could use the, the metrics here and set the, the position with the numbers there if you wanted to get super accurate. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another row of these. So I'll use the option key again, and then I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to drag all three of them down a little ways until I get to about here, right? So uh, maybe I'll nudge them up a pixel there. So that looks pretty good. And uh, maybe I'll bring all these guys down a pixel there. So that looks pretty good. Um, and then what I'd like to do is I'd like these boxes to fill out this area, but I want them to extend all the way to the bottom, right? And then I want auto layout to stretch them so they always keep the same spacing here, even in landscape mode. Right, so that means that the widths will have to change or the heights will have to change to fill this area. Okay, so um, really, I, I want the bottom spacing not to be this large. I want it to be about the same amount. So I'm actually going to drag this bottom row down until I get to the bottom margin there. Okay, and then um, this space is too large, right? So what I'll do is I'll just drag the top edge here up until I get to the to that spacing okay and then I'll drag these up too okay and so obviously like these are not all equal but I want them equal okay so we're gonna have auto layout take care of that for us okay so I got everything set up and maybe just to make it a little easier to understand I'm gonna change the the color here on this row and then I'll change the color on the bottom row a little bit too. So, so they're, they're a little bit darker and we'll be able to tell which is which, right? Okay, so uh, first things first. Now there's going to just be um, a few steps to go through here, um, but they're all you know essentially the same step with a couple little changes in the options along the way. Okay, but let me go step through them all. So I'll select the one in the upper corner and I'll go to the pin menu. And I'm going to lock this guy to the top and the left edge. Okay, I'm not going to set the height though. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that. And then the middle one here, I'm going to go to the pin menu and choose just the top. Okay, and then for the upper right corner, I'm going to uh, pin the top edge and the right edge. So here and here, right? So I'll add those two constraints. And now for the middle one. So for the middle one on the vertical here, on the left side, I'm going to pin the left edge. And then for the center one, I'm not going to do anything. And for the right one in the center, I'm going to pin the right edge. And then for the lower left corner, we'll pin the left and the bottom edge. And then for the center at the bottom, we'll pin just the center, you know, the bottom um, constraint there. And then for the right bottom, we'll pin the, um, the right edge and the bottom edge. Okay? And, you know, auto layout 
you know, shows me these orange, you know, um, outlines telling me that there's not enough information, okay? And that's okay, because we, we're not done yet. Okay, so you can see everything's kind of orange, and there's some, there's an error there, right? Auto layout error. So what do we need to do? So I've got this guy stuck to this corner. I've got this one stuck to this corner. These, all the corners are kind of locked in, and then the center ones are stuck to the edges, right? So what we need to do is we need to set the spacing between the boxes, and then we need to tell auto layout how tall and how wide they are, okay? So let's do the spacing. So we'll just get organized. I'll start in the upper left, hold the control key. I'll click and drag and choose horizontal spacing. And then I'll do the same thing again from the center to the right edge, horizontal spacing, right? And then I'm just going to do just the horizontal ones right now and we'll do the vertical ones next. So I'll start in the middle and I'll set the horizontal spacing again and then do it again. And then on the bottom row, I'll follow the same procedure and do the horizontal spacing. And so now we're getting a little closer there. So now with the horizontal spacing here, the width of these center boxes can be determined, right? And their position too. So now let's do the vertical spacing. So I'll start in the upper left again drag down, set the vertical spacing there, and you can see the bar appears, and so now we know that this is set. And now let's do the middle one, vertical spacing, right? And then the, the right side, and then the center to the bottom, Right, and now everybody's got a vertical spacing there. You can see this guy's spaced on all four sides, right? Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now we need to determine the widths and the heights, okay? So we're getting pretty close. So um, we still have an error though, right? So it's not gonna work. And if we were to go to the, you know, the, the preview here, you know, it doesn't look right, okay? So, uh, so what are we gonna do now? Um, let's set the, the width. So I'll, again, I'll just get organized and follow you know, the same path through the whole thing. So I'll, I'll start with the upper left, control key, and I'll drag to the next box and choose equal width. Okay, And then I'm going to drag from this one to the far right side and choose um, equal widths again. So this guy is equal to this one and that one. They're all going to have the same width. And then I'll do the same in the, uh, the second row. Equal width, equal width. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere here. It's almost gonna lay out. It doesn't look right yet, but that's okay. Now let's do the bottom row. Equal width, and equal width. Okay, oh, so now we're kind of getting closer there, right? Um, now let's set the height. So what I want to do is I want all three of these in the first row to have an equal height and all three here to have an equal height, right? So I'll start with this one and choose equal height. And then I'll do equal height down to the bottom one. Okay. Oh, look. So now that first row is, is laid out correctly. Okay. And let's go to the second row. So I'm going to control drag down from the top box to the middle one, choose equal heights, and then I'll start from the top one to the bottom one again and do equal height. Okay, and then I'll do the, the third row, equal height, and equal height. Okay, and here you can see that auto layout is indeed laying out everything, you know, just the way that we wanted it to. Okay, and if I switch to the to the landscape mode, everything looks pretty good. Now, in the main view here, I, I have a problem, or at least a warning, right? I'm getting a warning here, and these things are showing up in orange. So that's kind of a warning to me, right? And that's because the, uh, the frames here don't align. And the dotted lines here are kind of showing me where the frames should actually be, and you can kind of see that you know, if this guy had a frame here, it would come down to this, and that about matches what we have here, right? So what I want to do is select all of the, the views here, okay, all the boxes, 
and go to the Resolve Issues button and update their frames. Okay, and that's going to update the outlines of the boxes so they match what auto layout thinks that they should be. And then everybody turns blue and we're all happy and, and it looks like this view looks correct to what we have here. And this one is actually a little bit bigger because this is set for the 3.5 inch iPhone and this is a 4 inch. But, you know, that's the whole point of doing this is because now... I've got my layout set up so that, you know, it'll stretch and adjust itself for any particular size phone. So, you know, if I if I want to see what this is going to look like on the 4.7 inch iPhone, which is the iPhone 6 Plus, you can see that it still works there. Um, or if I want to, um, let me click on this and delete it and add another one. If I want to see what it looks like on the 3.5 inch screen, hey, that looks pretty good. Or Maybe I want to um, try the 4-inch iPhone. You know, and it all seems to work pretty good, right? So that's the whole point of this, right? Um, but anyway, so there you go. Equal heights and equal widths.